So let's start and dive into the world of reading and reading motivation. So some children, as we all know, do everything in their power to avoid it. It is so frustrating for them. Some of them, those who enjoy reading, involve in reading activities. Actually, they practice the reading, gain new knowledge from reading in a wide domain. For example, vocabulary, syntax, content, knowledge. So those who find reading frustrating, avoid it and do everything in their power to uh, ignore it and stand in the place they don't gain new knowledge. And the gaps between those, these two kind of group of children is extend or widening over the years. And according to some researchers, as you can see here, the gap starts already in kindergarten and other claim that it starts with vocabulary at the age of two. So children already come to school with huge gap in uh, language infrastructure that of course is going to influence their uh, chances to succeed in reading acquisition. So that's mean that the first years of elementary school are critical window for reading development. And that less proficient, proficient reader usually continue to struggle with reader also in future grades and in other content areas since we know that language is involved in, in also in math and science in other aspects that children learn in school. And also this sadly might affect their chance to get into higher education and to find a reasonable job uh, opportunity and welfare. So I hope we all agree that literacy is one of the important skills of the 21st century. And we hope that uh, most children can have the opportunity to cultivate it and develop it properly. So one part, important part of this whole process of reading acquisition and building the platform for literacy is children's motivation to read. Uh, we found that um, in top, on top of the cognitive aspects of reading, emotional aspects are very important in this uh, process and can explain why some reading do everything in their power to avoid it. Um, and when we talk about reading motivation, mainly most research refer to two aspects of reading motivation of self-concept as a reader, which with one's beliefs and perception in his or her own ability to perform reading mm -hmm. tasks and the value that uh, a person attached to reading, which means how much you and I think that reading is important to our future. And if we think that it is important, we might well uh, put more effort in it and practice uh, and practice it along the year. What we know from research uh, conducted among uh, other languages, without going into the specific detail of the aspects of motivation, because there are different kind of tools to examine motivation to read. Just by looking at the graph, we can see that in all examined aspects, reading motivation start to decline uh, in third grade, and it's continued to decline through the years, through the school years. And when we ask what causes this decline, most of researchers try to explain it and assume that it's probably because the, the changes in school environment, in classroom environment and academic demands. Uh, but whatever it is, as we can see here, we're probably doing something wrong. If children enter to school with high motivation and the time they get to third grade, they already started to lose it and to think that maybe no reading is not for me and maybe I should put it aside. What we know from Hebrew, from Hebrew research that uh, I conducted together with my colleague Einat Nevo, we uh, examined second graders <coughs> at the beginning and the end of the school years. We conducted this research among 151 second graders. 
And what we saw, the left graph, as you can, I hope you can see, and it says reading comprehension. This is just one of the examples of the reading test we gave children. We saw the children improve the reading comprehension along the year. There are two groups here, one of typical readers and one of child. Both of them improve their, when we look at the motivation, we see that while the typical reader um, saved or keep their motivation steady, the challenging uh, or the poor readers uh, showed decline in reading motivation over the year. So despite the fact that both groups improved their reading achievement, poor readers already at second grade start to feel uncomfortable with the reading and their motivation is declined over the year. Um, we try to explain why in Hebrew the motivation is so fragile already at such a young age. And one of the explanation we gave is that um, the, the type of the Hebrew orthography, the writing system, to learn to read in Hebrew is considered very easy. And as we say, uh, after Hanukkah children, you know, should already acquire the reading. Uh, and indeed we expect children at the end of first grade to already read 72 words per minute with an accuracy of 92%. And this is like, this is a really high achievement. And uh, we assume that it might be since uh, children invest relatively fast during first grade, they already start to compare this themselves to, to their peers at, at uh, second grade. And then we can see the decline in Hebrew earlier than in other languages. Why should we concern with this decline in reading motivation? Well, just, uh, just to, um, if we look at this diagram, we can see that the reading motivation, um, in particular, the intrinsic motivation of reading is correlated with reading amount. That's mean with practice, how much I put practice in reading. And if I put practice in reading, I will have higher reading achievement. So uh, that's why we need to be concerned and do everything in our power to change uh, these gloomy pictures of a decline in reading motivation at such a young age. So if we agree, if we all agree that we have a problem, what we wanted to do in this research is to uh, examine younger children at first grade and to see in Hebrew orthography and to see if we can make a difference and if we can change the course of think at least for the group that we examined in terms of reading achievement and in terms of motivation. So we design uh, an intervention program as we will um, show you in a minute and examine its effectiveness. So we had um, 58 participants, half of them were assigned randomly to the intervention group and half to the control group. Um, we examined the children at the beginning and the end of the year. So since children, at least in Israel, only start um, to learn, formally learn reading at the beginning of a first grade, we couldn't examine the reading ability because there are none. They, can, they don't know how to read. So at the beginning of the year, we examined metacognitive aspects that we know that predict success in reading acquisition. And we make sure that both uh, groups of children are starting at the same port, point. That means that there were no significant differences between the group in, in this uh, test. Um, and at the end of the year, we of course examined all the basic reading tests that uh, everyone knows, including reading motivation, 
which also examined delivered individually. Actually, all the tests were delivered individually since they are very young children. This is just an example of the reading questionnaire that we use. And we already, I already mentioned earlier the self-concept as a reader and um, the value of reading. And just note that here there is another aspect of literacy allowed that is used only for young children. And it's uh, basically examined a children, how children are willing to involve in social aspects of reading, like reading aloud to their friends or sharing their thoughts uh, uh, following reading with the friends and stuff like this. 